Your next step is to find the center point of the Earth, and that's going to be at the radius. Uh, in the case of the 8-inch sphere, that'll be 9.9 .9 centimeters. So you line your ruler up, and at 9.9 .9 centimeters, make a mark. This is where all your measurements are going to start at. Now we're going to use the math that we got from our math person to uh, trace out the layers of the earth for your painter to paint. Uh, the, for the 8 inch sphere, that, uh, the inner core was 1.9 centimeters. So from that center mark that you just made, you're going to measure out 1.9 centimeters. Now, I would do this with pencil. I'm going to do it with pen on the video so you can see. But I would do it with pencil that way um, the marks are covered up by the paint later on. Um, and you're going to need to make these marks. I would make two on the opposite ends of this, the center point, And then I would make two more uh, going the opposite direction. Now you use your compass to turn that into a circle. You're going to place your compass in at the center point. Tighten it down to the size of 1.9 centimeters. If you have a different size sphere, you would And then you trace your circle. All the while trying to keep your compass in the center position. Rotate your sphere and do it on the other side. with marker so you can see it on the camera. Now, I wouldn't darken this with marker. I, I would leave that for the painter to take care of. Just give them pencil lines. But that would be my inner core. Next, I would take the measurements of the outer core, which is 3.5 centimeters for the 8-inch sphere. And I'm going to start my measurement at the outer edge of the inner core. So I place my ruler at that line and at 3.5 centimeters make a mark. And I'm going to do that again at each of the four corners of the circle. my compass at the center of the sphere and line it up with those marks that I just made. Again, you want to do this in pencil that way. If you make a mistake, your painter can always paint over it. you can fix it and it won't be noticeable later. Okay. Again, I'm going to darken that for you so you can see it on camera. Now the mantle for the 8 inch sphere is 4.5 centimeters. So I'm going to measure out 4.5 centimeters. That's going to take me almost to the edge of my sphere. This is uh, this is where you're probably asking yourselves, what about the crust? The crust for the 
inch sphere and for the six inch sphere is one millimeter. This is how you're going to show the crust. I would take a pen and I would just lightly mark the edges of the styrofoam ball and that should be pretty darn close to a millimeter. I won't dock you off if it's slightly over or under a millimeter, but it should be about that thick. All right. Um, another option you have, apart from doing all this on your styrofoam ball, is to do it on paper. <coughs> For the eight inch sphere, you'd want to get a piece of paper and set uh, measure out the diameter of the sphere. For the 8 inch, the diameter of the sphere is 19.8 uh, centimeters. Now, I couldn't measure that big of a circle with my compass, but you would need a compass to do that. And I'd make sure if you're buying a compass that you get one that can open up pretty far. Uh, one way that you could get around this would be by just not doing this with the mantle. You could do this with the inner core and the outer core. Uh, the next step you have to, again, find the center of your circle, in which case that would be 9.9 centimeters for the uh, 8 inch sphere. And again, same thing that you did on the, the styrofoam ball. You're going to measure out the outer core using the math. So for the 8 inch, that would be 1 point, I believe it was 1 point, 1 1.9 centimeters. I would do this with pencil. And you're going to do that on the four corners again. 1.9, 1.9. 1.9, just to make sure that your compass is staying on the correct path. Line up your compass with the center and your dots. And the nice thing with paper is that you can rotate the paper. It goes pretty easily. Next, you measure out your outer core from the outer edge of the inner core, which for the 8 inch was 3.5 centimeters. Mark 3.5 centimeters all the way around. You can see I already have mine marked out. Set your compass to the center of your circle and one of those four marks that you just made. And since I didn't have a compass large enough to do the mantle, I would just use this paper for the inner and outer core. And you can cut it out and fold it in half. Make sure you're centering it, and you could glue it down. So that's another alternative that you can do. Um, remember, this is not just a math project, it's not just a science project, it's also kind of an art project, so you have a lot of possibilities for how you want to do things. But make sure to use your math and double check your measurements to make sure they're accurate. Please don't scar your parents' table. Make sure your parents are around while you're using the knife. Have a great break, you guys. Bye.